guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you another wash and go using a product line that i haven't used before it is the Kera Care Curl Essence line. As you are aware, I am a fan of the Kera Care brand. And I've been seeing these products around for a long time now. And just thought, why not? So I picked up the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, and the moisturizing curling jelly. I love the packaging. It's like gold and pink. It's really cute and girly. So yeah, if you want to see how I get on with these products and to see how my hair looks after my curling straight routine, see if I got any heat damage or anything just keep watching I did go ahead and record a video before this using the tangle teaser brush so yeah I just pre-pooed my hair detangled it and put it up in the Swiss so if you do want to see that video it should be up on my channel already I'll link it in the description box below but yeah let's get straight into this video okay so this is what my hair is looking like after I detangled my hair with my new tangle teaser brush love it so much so I'm just taking those twists down and I'm just wetting my hair. And then I'm going in with the Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizer Shampoo. And I'm taking a fair amount of that and applying it to my scalp. I'm really trying to get a good lathering action going on, but it wasn't happening at all. So I added some more, still the same thing wasn't happening. <laughs> And I'm focusing this first wash on my scalp only and I just try and make it suds up as much as I can. And then I go in with my shampoo brush and exfoliate my scalp like I usually do. As you can see there's no suds at all so it's a bit difficult to do that part. I wasn't sure if my scalp got good clean or not. So I thought maybe that was because it needed a second wash. So I just went ahead and washed that shampoo out. I went ahead and did a second wash as well and it wasn't sizing up at all like guys this is a moisturizing shampoo as it says i wouldn't use this as a clarifying shampoo at all but in saying that my hair did feel really clean and it felt very moisturized so i couldn't complain so on the second wash i'm taking the shampoo all the way down to my roots to get all the gunk off that was on there before your hair needs shampoo to get rid of the previous product that you had on it so i am very pro shampoo i don't really do co-washes so that's the shampoo done and my hair is looking very shiny and very nourished so the shampoo wasn't that bad after all <laughs> And yes, yes, no heat damage. Well done, Sarah. Next, I'm going in with the Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Conditioner. I'm taking a fair amount of that as well and putting that into my hair. I loved the consistency of this conditioner. It was nice and thick. And it reminded me of the Care Care Deep Conditioner that I use for my curly straight routine. It does have a lot of slip as well. I was able to detangle my hair quite easily, but it was detangled anyway for my pre-pre routine. So while I put the product in, I'm finger detangling a little bit and then I go ahead with my tangle teaser and I'm detangling that thoroughly. Love, love, love this brush guys. It is amazing. I think it's the best brush or the best detangling tool I've ever used in my 11 years of Be Natural. So if you wanna see that video, you can go check it out. I'll leave it in the description box below. Next, I'm going in with the ORS Hair Mayonnaise. This is a go-to product for me. I always go to this product if i don't know what deep conditioner to use i'll just go for this one so i'm just applying that deep conditioner to the hair and then raking it through my fingers and twisting it up and i'm just using whatever excess there is to put on the perimeter of my hair and then i put my shower cap on top and then my microfiber towel as well and clip that on and i just left that on while i cleaned up a little bit um it was about 20 minutes and now I'm just taking the hair down and this is what it looks like after deep conditioning. Nice and nourished. And I'm just rinsing my hair out now. Making sure that there's no deep conditioner left on my scalp at all because that's going to itch like crazy when it dries. And that's what my hair's looking like. Beautiful, beautiful. And here I'm just scrunching out the excess water and I put my hair up and putting the towel on my head again. And that's the washing and conditioning done. Right, so I just flung on this rope, gonna shower afterwards anyway while it's drying. So I'm just gonna take my hair down now, and this is what it's looking like. Still pretty wet, so I'm gonna work fast and section my hair off into four. Honestly, it feels so weird, like not looking out for the mole. So I'm always like concerned about whether you can see it on the videos. Freedom! <laughs> right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is apply this leave-in conditioner. So this is the Curl Essence Moisturising Leave-In Conditioner. Hydrating leave-in conditioner with Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. Do you know what, yeah? 
this actually reminds me of the deep conditioner you know the one that i use in my curl to straight routine it's got that kind of consistency in it it seems to be a consistency that's consistent through their lines because the conditioner i just used has this consistency the leave-in conditioner and the deep conditioner from my curl to straight routine so I said it has that silky consistency. So it's very creamy, like lotion-y, but even more moisturizing than a lotion. Yeah, it's going into my hair quite nicely. My hair is just, just drinking it all up as it does. Applying a little bit more to my ends. I'm gonna add a little bit more because this product does seem to be going in my hair quite nicely. Right, so now I'm gonna use the brush to detangle it. And I'm just using my fingers to clump the curls back together. It's gonna add a little bit more. And it's quite wet. It's not like it's it's not like a thick butter consistency. Let's say um the Camille Rose Curlaid or the Almond Dry. It's not as thick as that. But I'll say those are more stylus than leave-ins. And I usually do like my leave-ins to be on the thicker side. So we'll see how this works out on my hair. Because every time I've tried a uh, consistency that's been a bit loose, looser. It doesn't actually work out for my hair. Right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply some oil. This is my oil mixture that I have. Not too much. Because I'm gonna be adding castor oil at the end as well. Because I like to do that for my winter months. Seal it all with a thick oil. I'll add a little bit more to my end. And I do like to do the LOC method with my washing curls because I find that it elongates my curls as well and it just makes it last a lot longer. And I do find that when I use thicker products with my washing curls, I get that elongation as well. Right, so the next thing I'm going to be using is the Curl Essence Moisturising Curly Jelly Curl Defining Gel with Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Coconut Oil. So yeah, I'm just going to apply it to the hair. I don't like my hair to be soaking wet when I apply my products because that's when I do find my curls shrink up a lot more as well so I'm not going to make sure that my hair is soaking wet I'm just going to leave it as it is my experiences when using um, jellies with this consistency it goes in the hair amazingly but once it dries it does usually give a cast and it usually doesn't last very long so i'm hoping that these products make my wash and go last because i like to keep my wash and go in for a whole week if the product is not keeping my hair in for a whole week there's no point in me doing a wash and go you know what i mean so yeah lathering this product on and i don't want to do shingling i haven't done shingling in a long time because it just takes too much time so i'm just trying to clump my curls as much as I can. I'm actually going to part off the section in half so I can get deeper into the root. <laughs> but it is slippery though. It's not giving me a sticky feeling like with the Meow one it, give, it was giving me a sticky feeling. This doesn't. It just feels slippery. So yeah. I like to just clump my curls together as much as I can like that and then rake with my other hand. I find that gives me the best clumpage and then I'm going to smooth it, smooth it, and then interlock my fingers just to break it up. Should get some good clumping action like that. I would normally just leave it as it is, but because it is winter and I'm trying to keep as much moisture in my hair as possible, I'm going to use some Jamaica Black Castor Oil. This is the extra dark version, which I assume would be more potent than the normal ones. It's not even dark. What is they talking about? Yeah, it's not dark. I'm just gonna smooth it in. I'm not gonna rake it. I'm just smoothing it in. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the ends. And that's one section done. On to the next. This section is drying up a little bit, so I'm just gonna wet it. Just like so. I don't like my hair to be soaking wet, but I don't want it to be dry either. So yeah, I'm just going to add the leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner has got a really nice scent to it. I actually really like it. It's got a clean scent, but a little bit sweet as well. Not overpowering. So that's done. And I'm going to add my oil. Oops. 
bit too much. So I'm doing LOC with O at the end as well. <laughs> so I'm doing loco, loco method. <laughs> Sounds quite fitting if I do say it myself. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. On to the jelly. That feels really nice actually. I really like this product. I just hope it does make my wash and goes last. Really, really happy with the products. I don't feel like I've wasted my money. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the castor oil. And once again, I don't need a lot on this section because it is a different texture and it doesn't take well to certain oils. Like it will just weigh it down a bit too much, the castor oil. I think I've got a bit of low, low porosity hair and then high porosity. Yeah, it's just all weird over here. <laughs> That's all done. It's looking very good, I do say so myself. It's very defined. The curls are separated. So that's all done. Now on to the other side. Okay, so that's all done now. Um, I'm gonna part off my hair to the sides and I'm gonna put more of the jelly where the part is. Just like so. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the jelly because I can see it's just frizzing up a little bit. And that's what I'm saying, like when you add it to soaking wet hair, it looks very, very defined. But as soon as, as it starts to dry, it starts to frizz up quite a lot. And that's what I find that happens with a lot of products that I use that aren't thick. It looks good again. Um, I am going to air dry. I'll try to avoid diffusing as much as possible. So yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in a few hours. Right, so it was getting a bit too late, so I didn't bother waiting for it to dry on that day. So this is actually two days later. Yesterday I took my hair down just so that it can completely dry. And then I just ended up wrapping the scarf around it again, just cause I wasn't really going anywhere. And now I'm um, not going anywhere today. <laughs> either so yeah this is day two hair as you can see it's looking lovely and defined i mean look just look at that definition guys i've tried a lot of products in the past six months or maybe even a year maybe you know that wash and go i did like a year ago where i used the ors for naturals leaving conditioner cream and i was like oh i can't find a leaving conditioner that's gonna work well on my hair so i actually haven't found any products that's worked as well as that combo and i'm so impressed with how my hair came out with these products and what i do like about it is well it's got body it's not too flat like it's not the curls are not limp if you if you get what i mean love it i love 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 it mm -mm -mm. <laughs> whoa if you don't like Eco Styler Gel, I definitely do recommend this curling jelly because it is giving me hold like the Eco Styler would, but it doesn't feel dry, which is great. <laughs> also, the shampoo was very moisturizing as well, so I didn't experience any dryness when I was washing my hair. The conditioner was very moisturizing, the leave in conditioner was very moisturizing. The only thing that I would do differently is use a cleansing shampoo before I use this shampoo for a second time. It doesn't have any flakes or look dirty or anything like that but I just feel like my hair gets a better clean when I can feel at least some sort of sudden action going on. But yeah that's all I've got to say about these products. I definitely 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 will recommend each and every item. I bought these off Look Fantastic. They do have 15% off all the time which is great obviously because you know you need to get those discounts for these hair products because if you're anything like me you don't like to spend money on your hair products obviously it's a bit different now because i just buy products to review them on hair but i usually don't like to spend a lot of money on my products but yes if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye